Hello everybody and welcome to the next session of the course. Let us discuss what are the research strategies do we have. In the previous sessions we have already seen what are the different stages of research process and in the last session we have also seen how to identify a problem statement and we have discussed review of literature for that. Today let us discuss what are the various research strategies that are available with us, how to choose one and once we have chosen what is the implication of the same. By a research strategy we mean a general orientation to the conduct of the research. We will also talk about one more concept today that is theory. Why? Because theory and the research strategies are interconnected. So, let us define what is theory. Theory is an explanation of observed regularities. For example, Maslow's hierarchy needs. It is a motivational theory. It states that the individuals satisfy their lower level deficit needs before progressing on to meet higher level growth needs. And what are the different research strategies? Now, there are three different research strategies that are available with us. One is qualitative research strategy, second is quantitative research strategy and the third is mixed research strategy. Let us understand what is qualitative research strategy. This strategy generates theory. It is a strategy which follows an inductive theory which means studying the specific observation and based on that a theory is established. For example, let us talk about Hochschild theory of emotion. This was emerged in 1983 from a questionnaire study of the university students. The theory states that the emotional labor occurs when employees introduce or suppresses emotions in order to portray themselves in a certain light that in turn produces a wanted state of mind in another. So, what is quantitative research strategy? It is just the opposite of the qualitative research strategy. It takes a theory, it tests that theory in the given context. The theory is deductive in nature. So, we start with the theory that is we start with the generalization and then we come to the specific cases. For example, let us say I would like to study the leadership theory uh, in, in various sectors. Let us say it could be IT sector, could be PSU, could be education sector and other sectors. There can be different kinds of theory of leadership. For instance, it could be bureaucratic, could be charismatic, could be democratic. So, therefore, in this case what I am doing, I am studying a theory in the given context and the context is a particular industry or the sector which I choose. Now, there is a third category which is known as mixed research strategy which is a combination of the previous two that is qualitative and the quantitative strategies. Therefore, some part of the research could be qualitative strategy and some part could be quantitative strategy. What is the implication of a research strategy? The choice of research methods depend upon the research strategy which means once we decide the research strategy, research methods are more or less decided. Let us find out some of the tools or the methods that are available for both qualitative and the quantitative research strategies. The most popular methods to collect the data for the qualitative research are interview, observation, documents, uh, studies of the documents and the case studies. Ethnography is one of the methods where the researcher joins a group and listen to the group's views to gain an appreciation of the culture of the group. We can have qualitative interviewing methods where the researcher interviews the respondent. It could be a face to face and an and in depth interview. We can also have focus group discussion where a group of 10 to 12 people come together and they express their opinion and views on some particular issue. We also have language based approaches where the text and the documents are being analyzed. Let us see some of the quantitative tools that are available with us. Now, quantitative tools are basically categorized into three uh, categories. Uh, they are univariate methods, they could be bivariate methods or there could be multivariate methods. In univariate methods, we study just one variable at a time. In bivariate, we study two variables at a time and a multivariate methods, we study more than two variables at a time. Some of the univariate tools are frequency distribution, mean, median, mode, histogram, pie chart, bar chart, etcetera. 
in a bivariate analysis we can have correlation analysis association analysis or chi square in multivariate we can have regression analysis of variance and other multivariate techniques we will deal with some of the topics in detail in later chapters till then goodbye thank you